Yeah, I, I think the uh, farmer's market decision was something that was very unfortunate for our community. I think it was completely unnecessary. I think I voiced my opinion pretty clearly on that. I was the only council member to, to consistently uh, oppose uh, the change in the markets. Uh, I think the impact on the downtown, which was the question, has been, uh, it's been a very negative. The day before we are to make our decision, the other pulled out and said that they weren't going to provide it and that they didn't want to be considered. So it's sad that I couldn't pick them and that I'm happy that they're still doing well. But the truth is, is that we have to be accountable and have a transparent cycle of trying to figure out how to be fair to everybody. Let me be very clear. I'm not taking sides on this matter. That's not what I intend to do. This is actually not an issue of this side or that side. It's an issue related to policy setting. So that means being able to communicate, doing research on the laws, using facts to make decisions. Those are the basis of any decision in government, or should be, I should say. Okay, it was poorly done. I'm trying to find a way to say it nicely, but basically I think, I think the, the, the decision to make them split up is what's happened. They, they, they couldn't let the, I, I don't support a profit company coming in competing with a nonprofit company. It hurts when you see nonprofits trying to do something good for our communities. We don't have the money, they know, and that's all we need, you know, their jobs. Their jobs are needed. What to move? Why not to, to kind of work together to help them also to even do better, not to kind of have confrontation. The last thing is we want, this is a nice city to live in. We need to find harmony.